Hi everybody and welcome. I'm going to do a tutorial on um, a planner book. These ones are um, traveler's notebooks that I have made and I have shown. This one uh, is one that I just recently made and it turned out really nice. This was another one and another one. But we're going to do it a little bit different so that you don't have to use the um, die to make this. This is for people that don't have die cutting machines or dies. Or anything like that what I did was um, I took an instant potato box and I cut this down to the size that I wanted so when I fold this it's gonna end up being like this so you see there's like a you'll have quite a bit of room to put the inserts in here and this is going to end up being Seven and a let's see one quarter seven and a half by four and a half and then the spine is two inches so it gives you a lot of room and then what I did was um, I measured one half inch from the top and I put my first mark here to put um, some bands and I'm gonna uh, show you how we're gonna do this with some ribbon and lace and then I went halfway down I did the same thing I put a half inch on the bottom and I made I made four holes because that way I can have four uh, inserts because they're uh, it's so big and the, like these have these have three so I can put four and you can end up putting more if you want. So I did that and I marked it. Then I took the distance between here and here and I marked where my center holes are going to be. And I just went across and I got four across here, four across here, four across here. You could put three if you want and just make your books bigger. And then what I did was I took, um, I used this for the um, hole punch that we are member keepers it does the brads and the holes and I use I'm using this paper pad uh, the paper studio and this is one that I'm going to be using some of the um, papers out of and I took what I did was I took two sheets and um, I put them together I, I uh, seamed it together here you won't be able to see real good and I overlapped a little bit because this is going to be on the spine. And all I did was I laid it out and I marked where I wanted to cut it so that I would have a border around each corner. And I already punched my holes because this way I keep my holes in the same spot. And when I don't have to go through all the measuring. Then when I, I'll punch them again. I know it's like triple the work, but with a hole puncher it's fast. Then when I cover this, I'll have the holes lined up again, and then I'll put the brads in on that. So what I'm going to do now, and this will make it nice and sturdy, is I'm going to put some tape on here. i got to get some. And hopefully I don't run out of tape before I have to finish this part. But I'm going to do this in stages and then upload it in stages because it takes so long. So... And this would be nice if I had the wider tape, but I don't. So I'm going to use what I got. And I'm just going to bring this above the holes here too. So this way it would be nice and secure. I mean, you can use glue too. I'm going to use the tape. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to peel this back a little bit on each one of these because I want to run the tape here and I want it to stick real good and not be over top of this tape. I mean, yeah, I could have cut it shorter. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't do it different. Sometimes I think I create myself more work. But it's just how I like to do it. 
I'm just going to put that back. If you had the whiter tape too, you wouldn't have to use as much as this. This way, it's stuck to uh, the other tape. And then I'm going to do the same over here. And this makes it nice and thick too and then you don't gotta laminate it and it holds up really good uh, let's see I'm trying to get the tape off here I smashed, smashed my nail the other day and it's sore when I try to dig it off So now I'm going to put some over here. And I'm running out of tape here, so let's see, got this other roll to fill that one away. I need to go upstairs and get some more out of my room. I'm just doubling this to make sure that it stays really binded on the side. You don't have to, but I just don't want it to come loose. And then sure I got enough on my seams here. And I'm just running this in between each one of those little holes that I punched out. That way it sticks really good. I know it looks like a lot of tape, but I just want to make sure that it stays on with all the movement. And this is really, um, it's not real wide tape. If it was wider, well, I wouldn't have to use this much. Okay, so I ran out of tape again. So, I'm just pulling all these off.
this is a lot. I should have put the tape on here ahead of time, but I didn't. As excited about doing one of these. I've done these before, and then I got away, and I thought it would be quicker and easier with the dies, which it is, but I thought, well, you know what? Not everybody has dies. Not everybody has die cut machine. We all have leftover boxes. Like I had a, a perfect one from uh, like the juice boxes, and but I accidentally cut it too small, so I messed it all up. All right, so now I got my two papers here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this in here uh, so that see the two there, two there. I want to make sure I got enough on each side to fold over. bend this a little bit to work it. It's going to be the same thing on this side. That way I don't rip the paper. So now we have that, and what I'm going to do now is uh, let me get rid of all this stuff here, get some of my mess. I just want to cut some of the corners off a little bit here. that in and that way we don't have a big bulk and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my scoreboard even if you don't have a scoreboard you can still do this and I'm just going to run this along the side here so that uh whoops it'll be easier to fold You can do it on a flat surface too. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. That way it's just easier to fold. I figure I'd do this way. I've got a little bit of quiet time. I don't know how much I'll be able to get done, but. So now, I'm going to fold this over, to the corner and I'll kind of make it go in there better I think with a little you'll see where your score marks are and just cut that out that way it'll fold over nice on the corner
my paper rip there. Make sure I get some glue there real good because it's going to be covered up. Glue just takes a while to dry. Do the ends first, I think. that off a little bit. It's got to cover my holes and I don't see them. Let me see, i got glue on there now so if I can even trim that off a little bit. That's a little too long. There. Yeah, that way it don't cover my holes. I don't want to be able to see where they are. dry and run upstairs and grab some more uh, tape real quick while that's dry. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a couple more pieces from this book that I want to use on the end side. I'm thinking about these two. Let's see. I don't like that. That's kind of pretty. Let's see. That one, that one. I think I'm going to use these ones.
Well, I might be able to get away with one sheet too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put that in here. That up against the edge. Okay, that's there. side it's gonna fit one full sheet I mean one sheet without having to do it together so let me punch the holes back through here so I know where I'm at I know a lot of people don't punch these until the end but this way I keep it all lined up where I want it I don't gotta keep worrying about my holes Got a shadow here, so and hopefully, I have enough grommets. I haven't made them with four in on the before, but. I thought, because this one's so big and chunky. I'm going to make my brother-in-law one still. I bought some stuff to do him one. But I haven't done that yet. The glue just takes forever to dry. I think I need like some Fabri-Tac glue or something. Paper too wet, but it still gets sticky. And I'll still put some tape on here. Just a tad too long, so this end's got a little rip on it. But I wonder when I fold it up if it's gonna. I think I'm gonna leave it until I see if I gotta trim it off.
Sorry about this, just taking the paper off right now. I said my nails really sore. I think I stuck a pen on, stuck myself with a pen at work somehow in it. still gonna just a real little bit glue extra glue I just want to make sure it don't come apart it's getting close to the edges with it and where the tape didn't go I'm going to look for some of that really big tape, though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to line this up with this and really press it down. And this thing looks like it's a little up. all sticky now. Let me go rinse them off real quick. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to use my knife to trim. blades getting a little dull from all the stuff that I've been cutting with it. I could put it in the trimmer but then it's so thick that the um, blade don't go all the way down anyways. So I'm just going to trim it up. It's not much over anywhere and then I'll just dress all around here too but so far it's looking pretty good it's gonna be a pretty album cover I think and then that's why that's got a really dry of without using the tape in the middle. punch my holes and then we'll let this dry and then I'll come back with the next part that we're gonna do on here and then all of our holes are set and then we can get grommets to put in here
missing there. Therefore, if I was gonna say I'm missing a hole. Okay, so now this is what this is gonna look like, and we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back with another video and um, do a part two. So thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe and please share. Thank you.